All right, so this is our RSM804 uh, console and power management combo box. So this will help you connect to uh, basically anything, router, switch, firewall, anything that has a console port. So basically this guy has a uh, built-in modem. So for your out-of-band access, you can uh, access it via modem. Ethernet port if you're doing it over uh, LAN-WAN. Uh, also, there's your, console, your eight console ports for power switches. You can have one going to your one console going to your uh, Cisco switch, and then it being powered by one of these ports. So when you're doing anything uh, over a command line, you can uh, you can physically boot the power and watch the thing come up. We're going to be logging in through SSH. Though if you're going to log in out of band, it's the same exact way. We're just going to enter in our username and password right now to bring up the unit. As you can see, this is the main screen. We're going to actually bring up the main menu right now and try to connect to port 2. And now that we're successfully connected, we are in the router and we're just going to bring up some general prompts in the router. As you can see, these prompts are just bringing up router information as a demo for you guys to see what it looks like when you log in through our device. Again, those are just some general commands to show how the unit works with our product. And you can see the router, you can log in through the full command line and access everything in the router. Again, we're logging in through the network, but out of band will work the same exact way. Again, we're going to lo start by logging into the unit. And as again, we'll get the same username and password prompt. Now that we have the main screen, we're going to reboot port 2 as if the router is hosed and not responding. So it's just a simple boot command and then the port number which is 2. And you want to confirm yes. And right now it's going to reboot the unit. And now we're going to connect to port 2 and watch the router come up. As you can see, the router is starting to come up slowly and we're getting all the information. So that router that was once hosed is now back up and running and it's saving you time and money. Again, we did this over the network, but if you're going to do it out of band, it'd be the same exact way. And our router is now fully back up and running.